let's finish up here. So what I wanted to share with you guys also is this E D ending linking. Okay, linking. What does it mean to link something? Okay, so if you connect two things. Now, this is something that's really common in all languages and kind of that first step towards um, making your English sound really uh, cohesive or that it comes together. You know, because a lot of times what can happen is that students will um, get really focused on making sure that they say the words correctly and then not necessarily. So what will happen is they'll say like, I walked to the store, right? And we don't really talk like that. I mean, when you're listening to me talk, you know, I don't sound like a robot, but what you do here is me connecting you know, groups of words together, okay? Um, and there, is, there are some kind of general rules about that and it does happen naturally. And we can start to use some of these things in our everyday life and thinking, you know, if you're thinking in English, if you're reading in English, you can start to practice putting these things in groups, okay? So the ultimate goal, I call them, you know, they're called thought groups. So it's just something to start thinking about. Um, it is a more advanced level uh, strategy, but if we talk about it now, then you can start to implement it or put it into, you know, your English speaking. Okay, so let's let's just talk about this. So this is called thought groups, thought groups. Okay, and this will help us once we get into this ed endings. We'll start to see how things can kind of connect together and how we comfortably connect words together. Okay. So if you say, I, I went to the store with my friends after school. Okay. Now, <clears throat> hopefully you can read my very fast writing. So you can see here in this sentence, it's kind of, it's got a lot of these like you know, you've got your subject, your subject and verb, and then you've got these like clauses to the store with my friends after school. So, so each one of these could be removed and not really change much. It's just kind of, you know, adding extra information to the sentence, but you can see that the information kind of comes in groups that are naturally grouped. They're natural groups. So, I want you guys to listen to me say this sentence and maybe on your paper, you can kind of put little lines to connect where you hear a small pause uh, or a small space in between what I'm saying, okay? I went to the store with my friends after school. I went to the store with my friends after school. So you can kind of hear, you know, and starting to hear how the rhythm of English works is really, really important, okay? I went to the store with my friends after school. So I went to the store with my friends after school. I hope that you guys can hear me separate or group these things together. I went to the store with my friends after school. So what's happening here and here? There's a small pause or break in my speech, okay? I went to the store with my friends after school. Okay? And that flow is, is, is stress, rhythm, and intonation. Intonation is a little bit different, but it's that rhythm of English, okay? And like I said, the next steps in our class, so in this pronunciation of fluency two, we will spend all June looking at um, stress and rhythm.